And what I realized was, is I was applying a property strategy to the stock market, which is buy, hold, yeah, don't sell, and realize that the stock market is a different asset class to property. Totally different game. Who realizes that? <coughs> but how many follow what mum and dad did, buy a house, hold on to it, and let it go up? Sorry? It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> hasn't been going on, it hasn't been experienced with this new generation, has it? No. It hasn't been going anywhere, it's been going down in many cases. Um, <laughs> I was eavesdropping on a conversation recently with, with I was, my wife and I had to go to a wedding out of town and we checked into a bed and breakfast and at the breakfast we were listening to the guy who owned the place and making friends with everybody and, and so you could hear every conversation. He's talking to some property person and I think he worked for Landgate. She worked for Landgate. Oh, property's been terrible. She said, yeah, it's been shocking over the last seven years. And then he interrupted and I was like, no, I want to hear what the expert has to say on it. Oh, you dropping, as you do. But, um, I mean, we're this close from each other, you can't help it. But it was like, no, please. Oh, he tells his story. I've lost 100,000 on my property. I was like, oh. But anyway. So I discovered the stock market's a different game because it can move up, down, and sideways. And I discovered that you can metaphorically insure shares. And when I heard that, I said, tell me more, because I'd lost a lot of money. And then there were guys saying you can metaphorically rent shares out for cash flow. I was like, tell me more. And I did some more digging and researching and all this sort of stuff. And there are three fantastic things about options. They offer, one, leverage, which is why speculators love it. Number two, hedging, which is another fancy word for what? Starts with a letter P. Protection. And number three, cash flow. And I sat down with a very smart accountant one time and he said, Derek, because I'd been trading stocks for c capital growth, he said, Derek, stock market is for cash flow. Property is about capital growth. So my mindset started shifting big time from that day. I was like, ah. And I started thinking about the stock market in totally different terms. Now, as you mature, you start looking back at those definitions and were they right? And I'm starting to reassess all of that as, as I grow in this and this sort of stuff. And some of it can be for capital growth, but it is more speculative when it is. But what I want to show you is a strategy tonight that mostly fits this and has a little bit of this going on. Does that interest you? 